guys, what's up? It's your girl Jay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification for updates on my content. So I want to quickly recap, guys. My content is mainly about, as you know, nursing, lifestyle, and how-to videos. So that being said, today's video will be about my weight loss journey and it will be about nutrition, weight loss, and just a couple tips and advice that I have been doing for myself that have been helping me lose this weight. So, I want to start off by saying, talking about weight loss. So, as we know, weight loss is a very touchy subject for many people. Um, let me give you a little background information about myself. So, I am a Hispanic and basically I've always been a little thicker and always had issues of weight loss and I grew up in a Hispanic family where we ate a lot of rice a lot of beans a lot of meats and a lot of tortillas so all that started to accumulate throughout the years and especially in my abdomen area so that being said um, I wasn't like really heavy when I was in my teenage years because I did play a lot of sports but um, I think the heaviest I was before um, I graduated high school was like 180 and after that I just started to gain more weight throughout the years but I did maintain myself but after my son I hit the highest weight was 220 so 220 was my highest weight after I had my son then I lost some weight and all that and then I gained it again um, during my nursing school I'll put a picture up here I think I have posted it in the past um, that the highest was 230 so I lost the weight and then I gained it back and I got really heavy at 230 and then that's when I found out that I had fatty liver disease and when I found out I had fatty liver disease I was suffering from really bad pain from here I knew it couldn't be my gallbladder and I had pain on my shoulder it couldn't be my gallbladder anymore because after my son two months after I had a gallbladder emergency gallbladder removal so that being said I went to the doctor they did no one really could determine what it was until I went to my primary and she did like this test it was like a tap test and she saw that it was my fatty liver so they actually did an ultrasound and they saw that it was pretty large like all the way down here because the fat was just going around it so that hit home for me I know I have diabetes in my family type 1 and I just wanted to get on top of it and like take all this excess um, body fat off so I continued my journey the lowest I got was like 210 and then I began like began to plateau so now when I started that challenge for you guys um, I started to continue to lose weight but the changes I have made to help this weight loss is one low carb I can't say that I don't eat carbs because I would be lying to you guys but I'm definitely gonna say low carb is the key for me Two, calorie deficit just means that you're going to be eating less calories than you usually do and keeping it portioned. So I usually eat my three meals a day, but I make sure that I have a variety of um, nutrients in my meals. I have my protein, I have my veggies, I have my carbs, just low carbs, and all those different macronutrients or micronutrients and just have a variety of things. Um... Nutrition is so important guys because if you don't have a good nutrition I know you can lose weight, but you're gonna quickly gain it back Some people might agree some people might not agree, but for myself my own experience This is what has helped me nutrition changing my bad habits. No eating out Basically being conscious of what I'm going to put in my body. I have noticed that once I eat like ugh, disgusting like Food, like McDonald's, Burger King, and like different fast food places. I feel so sick. My brain feels so like mind fogged. And maybe it's because of my fatty liver, but I just feel disgusting. So I've noticed that eating inside like homemade food, homemade fresh food, my veggies, my chicken, and all that delicious food, homemade, of course it's time consuming, but it's super beneficial, guys. Um, I've been adding some vitamins also in my food, like just multivitamins for women, and just been doing a lot of teas in the morning. Usually it's tea time in the morning, like right now I have a ginger tea with some lemon. But yeah, nutrition is the key, guys. If you want to see results in your body, like glowing skin, a flat tummy, de-bloated, and just healthy-looking skin, and healthy hair, like look at this hair. Girl, girl. 
this hair is looking good so basically you need to eat healthy add like like nuts in your diet add omegas add multivitamins um vitamin b12s vitamin d d3 and all that good stuff um and also another thing that i've been doing is making sure i plan my meals especially when i go to work like i said planning your meals is so important i'll make sure that i defrost chicken the night before and i'll wake up early in the morning and make food or i'll do it the night of and i make sure that i have my water in the morning that is like 20 ounces of water my tea and then my big meal for lunch which will be my chicken and my veggies and then i'll have like snacks which will be a bag buy little bags that are like those plastic bags that have snacks and i'll put like a little bit of like those veggie straws and a little bit of the nuts in another bag and just have my banana my apple my orange and that's like all that food is for like that 12 hour shift for my five days i'll keep on doing the same routine of different foods um another thing i've incorporated is drinking at least a gallon of water a day i never really hit the gallon like yesterday i did but mostly i don't i hit like 80 to 90 um gallon whoa <laughs> 80 to 90 ounces um because my bladder is slowly getting used to it and doing all that stuff has really helped my skin clear out and just like this hyperpigmentation has been looking better and stuff like that um and also guys exercising is so important because we want a weight loss that will be long term not just short term for me at least i'm a mom and this body has not been the same my elasticity has not been the same because of my age and just whatnot so i've been doing exercises every day i have at least one rest day that i'll try to rest but now it's been hard for me because i want to get up do exercise in the morning drink my tea and keep my day flowing so um just have at least 30 to 40 minutes of exercising in the morning because that will help your metabolism boost your energy and all that good stuff what else guys um even if you don't have space like just go on your break from work or if you know wherever you can in the morning or at night but i like to keep my exercises in the morning because it gives me time to recover my body to get more steps in and just whatnot um what else guys try not to weigh yourself every day try to weigh yourself once a week at most two times every two weeks you know just keep it minimum sometimes just focus on your measurements and just stuff like that try not to compare yourself to others try not to listen to what everyone's saying just do it if you're gonna do it do it and stop talking about it like that's something that i'm very i'm a very competitive person and i've noticed that i'm very competitive throughout the years and that's just the, my my characteristics my personality that's how i am i'm competitive i like to live my life to the fullest i like to be determined and know that i'm going to do something and accomplish it and that being said guys um if you're gonna do it do it without talking about it without talking to people about it just the more you talk about it it just becomes overrated you know and stuff like that so overall guys i want to recap this video i'm just talking about my about me about my weight loss journey about some tips that have helped me and i hope these tips help you and i hope you can become more consistent in your weight loss and when you plateau you can defeat this plateau by doing these couple steps of nutrition a healthy nutrition also exercising and changing your mindset you have to start from within when you start from within it's what's going to help this body start breaking down so that being said guys don't forget to like share and subscribe down below i can continue talking for hours but i won't but just some tips and advice for you